thank you for inviting me. Uh, at present, I'm on leave. And I prepared such, such a video. I hope it may help. Uh, in particular, I'm very grateful to Dr. Osden uh, Gotemir, with whom I'm working. And I would be delighted to develop our collaboration further. This is the map of my presentation, Introduction, Environment and Health, which data, Sentinel position for the environment, the Italian experience, and uh, low middle income countries. Introduction. In the past, environmental health problems have often been successfully addressed by controlling a single source of pollutant or exposure. However, today's problems are often more complex. Traditionally, the relationship between environmental threats and health outcomes uh, is described uh, through a linear pathway, starting from the other, which leads to the exposure, which drives to the health effect. Even though it is not fully detailed, such a picture shows that in general terms, such a relationship is strongly influenced by many other conditions that rely on individual, social, psychological, economic, and food effects. Another point uh, which will be taken in uh, taken up in this presentation is the one pointed out by the COVID-19 pattern of spread in time and space, which made clear that the distinction between local and global has become superficial. The local ecological and human interaction in Wuhan, in China, have been the origin of SARS-CoV-2 spillover and have afterwards affected the, the whole globe. In other words, regional and local political and economic decisions contribute to the global climate crisis. On the other hand, in a globalized economic order, decisions are generally taken far away from where the environmental and social externalities show their negative effects, usually in low middle income countries. And in this field, uh, family doctors could be really important. Along this line, in recent years, new approaches have emerged to address complexity and global and local issues. The concept of One Health is the unity of multiple practices that work together locally, nationally, and globally to help achieve optimal health for people, animals, and the environment. When the people, animals, and the environment are managed together, they make up the one health triad. The real essence of such an approach from a practical viewpoint is the interaction and synergy of different disciplines and knowledge, which also means the coaction of professionals institution, data, and other resources, such as veterinary, zoology, human medicine, social science, and so on. Planetary health has a larger and more challenging meaning. Its aim at the achievement at the, of the highest attainable standard of health, well-being and equity worldwide, through judicious attention to the human systems, political, economic, and social. Simply put, planetary health is the health of human civilization and the state of the natural systems on which it depends. Primary healthcare and prevention. Primary healthcare is based on practically scientifically sound and socially acceptable methods 
universally accessible to individuals and families in the community. It is the first level of contact of the individuals, the family and the community with the national health system, bringing healthcare as close as possible to where people live and work. In the COVID-19, a primary healthcare physician proved to be an excellent position to educate patients on the relevance and effectiveness of hygiene measures, including the personal application of contagion containment measures, and to detect and report epidemics and mini epidemics of viral and non-viral diseases as demonstrated by many international and Italian experience. Environment and health, which data? Talking about the effect of the environment, the environment on health, we usually start from such figures. According to the WHO, almost one fourth of global deaths are linked to the environment. Focusing only on the health effect due to climate change, the WHO stated that they will be the cause of 250,000 additional deaths per year between 2030 and 2050. But please note that all such figures are based only on that. Hence, what is the real burden of the environment on health? In 2009, the World GPs Organization, Wonka, assessed that the healthcare system, where the GPs and the pediatrician act as gatekeepers, 90-95% of all patients are initially cared by GPs and pediatricians, and 80% are sold only by them. This bring, brings us, us to the next point, which means that in the case of climate change health effect, non-fatal health effect are early indicators of environmental linked conditions. If they are not precisely quantified, they could cause a disarrangement of the overall health organization and healthcare system with remarkable effect on individual and public health. Please note that the vector board diseases are defined as focal diseases just because local conditions strongly influence them. Global strategies addressing climate change should be implemented locally in these cases, family doctors' role is crucial. We'll come back to this point later on. More generally, family doctors can effectively close the gap between health and the environment. Why? Owing to their role on individual patients and community, they can effectively connect global concern with local action. This is an essential declaration from some of the most representative medical organizations dealing with the environmental health issues across the world, which confirms what I said before. Nonetheless, family doctors are often unaware of the environmental related health impacts and their potential role to tackle such a global challenge through their local influence on individual and collective attitudes and policies is not considered. These are some activities which family doctors can effectively carry out at the local level. So, sentinel physician, and here there are some significant anecdotes. In 1993, Dr. Gardner in the UK published a scientific article on a child leukemia cluster around a nuclear power plant close to Sellafield in the UK, proving that the workers' children 
of that side had a risk twice as high as expected. Afterwards, local authorities admitted that the military nuclear waste site had once existed in the area, later transformed into a nuclear power plant. After some years, the Salafid power plant was closed. More recently, in 2016, a massive concern over PFAS in drinking water was raised in the Veneto region in Italy by the Italian Ministry of Health and the WHO Europe, following some early observation and results presented by an hematologist, Dr. Vincenzo Cordiano. Subsequently, under the broad and trenchant popular pressure, numerous legislative and technological measures were implemented and the factory with the charged substances closed. Most epidemiologists agree that the first modern environmental epidemiology study was the natural experiment carried out in London in 1854 by an anesthesiologist named John Snow. He described the mortality rate due to cholera in different neighborhoods and noticed that some showed figures higher than others. He also noted that the drinking water supplies were provided by the Southwark and Wolfwall Company in some areas, while in others, supplies came from the Lambeth Company, which five years before changed the tapping point upstream in London. It is essential to underline that all these conclusions were presented 40 years before Koch discovered the agent of cholera. By the way, John Snow elicited some protective condition in particular groups such as brewers and Jews. The former because they were used to drink and pasteurized beer, the latter because they were used to wash their hand. He published his theory in a, uh, 1849 uh, essay entitled On the Mode of Communication of Cholera, which was firstly criticized by the Lancet. Anyway, Following this observation, in 1857, all London drinking water supply companies were obliged to filter uh, Thames water. But whoever wishes to investigate medicine properly should proceed thus in the first pla place to consider the seasons of the year and what effect each of them produce because they are not uh, at all alike, but differ uh, much from themselves uh, regarding their change and so on. The one who claimed such prophetic sentences uh, was Hippocrates in, 40, in 400 before Christ, who stated that in medicine, any investigations should take into account the environment where the patient lives. Starting from the definition of sentinel general practice provided by the EU funded the project Euro Sentinel by the Nivel Institute from the Netherlands in 1983, we reviewed the literature dealing with the sentinel physician network. Initially, around 7,000 articles matched the research criteria with an increasing rate of publication over the past 20 years. Most of these studies focused on clinical and organizational issues around the GP's activities. Only a very few of them dealt with environmental health prevention. Afterwards, some colleagues and I, Osden is one of them, conducted a scoping review to investigate how family doctors, global concern due to climate change with local action, as I said before. Such a review shows that even before the COVID-19 experiences, 
family doctors investigation concerning their community, community's environment most frequently deal with vector-borne diseases. Many vector-borne diseases are strongly linked to climate change. They can be adequately addressed by adopting a one health approach, which is now universally, universally accepted as a useful approach in addressing emergencies like the COVID-19 pandemic. In addition, some of the most interesting experiences have been carried out in low middle income countries, also in Turkey. One reason is that the most significant environmental and climate change challenges are experienced in low middle income countries and everywhere by the poorest com communities. Another reason is that the family doctors have been recognized to integrate environmental and climate threats with local health effects, which is essential to face such emergencies. The Italian experience. Now I would like to attention to the Italian experience, which allowed me to be here today. Everything started with a project funded by the Italian Ministry of Health within the preparatory process of the G7 Health Expert Working Group, a project aimed at promoting the definition and implementation of an Italian network of sentinel physicians for the environment. The name of such an effort in Italian is RIMSA, Rete Italiana Medici Sentinella per l'Ambiente. Its main objective are epidemiological surveillance and advocacy duties. Other goals are promote in Italy a more effective profile of GPs and pediatricians in the perspective of an environmental health prevention activity, especially in the areas of most significant impacts of climate change. Reaffirm the role of GPs and pediatricians in promoting healthy habits and sustainable lifestyle both in terms of individual health and within a collective perspective of planetary health. In sum, what we have done is summarized along this slide. We carried out a training process based on environmental health overview with particular regard to climate changes, health effect, Statistics and environmental epidemiology, environmental health bibliographic databases, communication and advocacy elements, and education, educational methodologies. Some reflections, comments, and proposals have been collected during the training process to create a professional profile and to share some theoretical and organizational issues to set up the Italian network of medical physicians for the environment. Such activities have been carried out according to the uh, process, process here shown. To strengthen the project, these are some of the activities which have been carried out, website, social media, scientific meeting, and other. What must be done? Consolidation, development, and spreading of the training process, creation of a national working group and start with some pilot experiences, definition of the work plan to forward relevant health data via electronic medical record, record packages, which will be integrated with environmental, occupational, meteorological ones, which means a lot of work. At present, we are committed to carrying out some pilot experiences, experiences in different area and topics. In addition, we are involved in some trials, such as dietary counseling versus antidepressant in depression treatment, 
long COVID and environmental pollution, and a statistical investigation on primary and care quality assessment, along with the, the COVID-19 pandemic event, based on some specific indicators named ambulatory care sensitive uh, sensitive condition. And finally, low middle income countries challenge. Such uh, an initiative uh, could raise uh, some opportunities for sentinel physicians for the environment, involving uh, low middle income countries, in particular as they must be based on social economic capacity and cultural historical features in which the sentinel physician operate, such an approach might be, might be effectively uh, implemented by coping with other tragic conditions. For instance, malnutrition, waterborne disease, diseases, infectious diseases, which should be taken into account not only for their direct health effect, but also for other which indirectly influence the life and health of people, for instance, migrations. In such last case, remember that the combination of drivers at the individual migrant level results in a unique vulnerability profile and context which determines the migration decision made by each potential migrant. In particular, attention must be paid to district management system, which consists in investment in frontline primary health care and community health workers. Mobilize sufficient financial resources to reduce inequalities in paying primary and the community health care services and provide financial protection against the impoverishment from catastrophic health care costs. Improve learning between uh, health care system and integrated care, developing strategies for engaging the private sector. But it is also uh, necessary to provide specific practical and motivating training of GPs in this field to create a professional profile based on epidemiological and uh, advocacy duties. Sound science by providing uh, to GPs support in research and data, clear and effective communication strategies among GPs their patients, communities, and policymakers. So, we, I think that uh, uh, we should never forget such an, a, 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 a sentence. If you think you are too small to make a difference, you haven't spent a night with the mosquito. And thank for your attention. Okay.